hey, you're watching WND TV. As soon as this video ends, I want to encourage you, head over to Facebook forward slash WND News, where you can like the WND Facebook page and ensure that you get access to the hottest stories, the most dynamic news coverage available on the internet. That's Facebook forward slash WND News. Last year, lawmakers proposed more than 1,500 new immigration laws. It's a very difficult issue, especially when children are American citizens, but their parents are not. Our national correspondent, Byron Pitts, has one family story as we begin our special series, Immigration Nation. It's 5 a.m. This woman's nine months pregnant, an illegal immigrant fearful of deportation. She's dropped off at a South Texas hospital to undergo a C-section. It's a $4,700 procedure that didn't cost her a dime. A healthy eight and a half pound baby boy born in America. His Mexican mother gives him an American name. Elliot. Elliot. He's one of an estimated 300,000 children of illegal immigrants born in the U.S. every year. They're given instant citizenship which makes it easier for their parents to become U.S. citizens because those babies can eventually sponsor their parents when they turn 21. As for Elliot's mother, no longer as fearful of deportation, she tells us her name, Fabiola, and her story. So your son is an American citizen. What does that mean to you? I'm glad he was born here. That's why I came here, so my children, my husband, and I could have a better life. Back in December, when she was six months pregnant, Fabiola, her husband, and their two daughters, ages 4 and 11, crossed the Rio Grande from Mexico into the U.S. Once across, they walked for two hours in search of a better life and free medical care for their unborn child. Help me understand, do uh, many women in Mexico make the choice to have their children in the United States? Yes, I know people who have done that. Things are better in the U.S. because they help children so much more. It's a better life American taxpayers help pay for. Take health care, for example. An estimated $1.1 billion per year for all undocumented men, women, and children. Joe Riley is the CEO of the McAllen Texas Medical Center near the Texas-Mexico border. 40% of the children born here, nearly 2,400 last year, were the babies of illegal immigrants. Riley has seen and heard it all. Mothers about to give birth that, that walk up to the hospitals still wet from swimming across the river and, and in actual labor. But here to have a child in the But US. here to have a child in the U.S. McAllen, which is part of a large hospital system, like all hospitals, is mandated by law to treat all emergency room patients, not verify citizenship. We have uh, uncompensated care of over $200 million last year. $200 million? Yes. Of money that you won't ever see again? Yes. It's not uh, fair to the taxpayers. We have to foot the bill. This Congress has all but given up on comprehensive immigration reform. But lawmakers like Lamar Smith of Texas want to challenge the 14th Amendment, which guarantees U.S. citizenship to any child born in America. It seems fundamentally wrong that we ought to give the greatest honor our country can bestow citizenship uh, to a child whose only connection to this country is that uh, his or her mother came across the border illegally. Many Americans who struggle to take care of their own families think it is unfair that they should take care of a family and they're not U.S. citizens. I don't really understand the resentment, but I know that God will find a way to help them too. That's what Fabiola's doing for young Elliot, relying on her faith, her family, and the U.S. government. Byron Pitts, CBS News, McAllen, Texas.